Hey guys, welcome back to The Casual Puzzler. My name is Emily. This video is not going to be super puzzle related. I br did bring some micro puzzles with me. Hopefully I can do them along my trip. As you guys know, I am starting a new job and it's been a process getting all my paperwork done because everybody is on vacation. So I start officially on Monday. I woke up this morning and decided that I was going to make the most of my time and go on a little mini road trip. My husband Dave is working so he can't come along with me, but this is not the first time that I've done a solo road trip like this. I really don't have a destination. I just decided to wake up and go. So I'm hoping I can get to Nevada today. A lot of the campgrounds, at least the state park ones in Nevada in Utah are all first come first serve, which is super nerve wracking. So hopefully I can get a site tonight. I do have a couple campgrounds in mind if one doesn't work out, but we're just going to make the most of the next few days and I'm just going to take you along with me. Maybe do a couple micro puzzles along the way just to make this somewhat related to my channel. But I hope you enjoy this video. If anything, just take in the scenery and have a good time. So I made it to Valley of Fire State Park. I don't know what it's about. I thought it was because it was all about red rocks, but I think it might be because it's 100 degrees out and it's hot and super windy, holy crap. So I went out and got my envelope and fingers crossed there's a spot available. Let's just hope there's a campsite available. I don't know how many people are camping in 100 degree weather on a Tuesday. So um, let's hope there's something. Guys, I think I just scored the coolest campsite. One of the benefits of being a tent is I have this really cool spot. So the ground is just like granite, but look at this. Is this not like the coolest campsite? Oh my gosh. Well, good morning. Uh, after my little clip last night, everything went downhill. <laughs> oh my gosh. So today's plans for sightseeing. I do want to check out what this place is because it looks really cool. Like this is the, easily the coolest camp spot that I've ever had. And it just looks otherworldly. I'm so excited. Anyway, so I'm going to do this for maybe like an hour. I don't have too much gas in my car. And then I'm thinking I'll make it to Zion today. So I have been to Zion before once and it is just like in its whole other realm. If you've never been, I highly recommend it. It's gorgeous and intense and I probably won't do much hiking because it's pretty warm. Um, but I will at least take some pictures there and drive through. Just the drive through is gorgeous. Do some sightseeing, do some driving, do more sightseeing and find a spot for the night. So that's my plan. I do need to charge my phone because it is under 20%. So um, yeah. Oh, also I have some iced coffee, which that was definitely the best decision. I got a just a thing of the Starbucks iced coffee thing with a little bit of oat creamer and this is just making my morning. Also, it is a Disney mug for the Tiki Room. Yeah. Anyways, let's just start our day. Does anyone else feel so accomplished when you get your tent in its bag and you're able to zipper it? Like I feel today is starting off really well. 
So I just climbed up the stairs to this rock and look at these carvings. So all of this was done about 4,000 years ago, which who knows what that stands for, but isn't that cool? So I made it to Zion National Park, which is in Utah, and if ever you want to feel like a very small person, this is the most majestic place. I feel tiny because these rock formations are just giant, but let me show you what I'm looking at. Just taking a breather and stretching. Been a lot of driving. Drove through Zion. I am on my way to Arches, but I'm just not sure where I want to stop for the night. Um, there's a lot of campgrounds near there. Of course, all of them are first come first serve, which is just so, so stressful. I just want to like reserve a spot. Um, but I'm in Dixie National Forest. I've been here before. It's really pretty. Lots of red rocks and arches and um, really cool scenery. But I'm just stretching, had an apple. So that is my status. We'll see where I end up tonight. Can I just say on road trips, I pull over for the most random things. So I just stopped and saw Butch Cassidy's childhood home. <laughs> so, um, you know, I feel a little bit more educated than I was before, I guess. Very small house. I'll put a picture up. <sighs> I'm definitely that person who's would pull over for like world's largest ball of yarn or like world's largest chair. <laughs> I'm I don't know. I don't know why I want to see the most random things. As you can see, I am in a hotel room. I was really debating on what to do for tonight. I could have kept going and getting a campground, but I was finding that most of the campgrounds that I was looking at were all for RVs. And so I ended up getting one and it wasn't actually that much more than a tent site. And I get a comfy bed, AC, I get a microwave to make my food. I have a shower. I also can have ice for the cooler and it has free breakfast. So I just feel like it was a good value for my money just to have like a restart for tomorrow. Have a good night's sleep. I'm exhausted right now because I did not sleep well yesterday. I actually really didn't sleep well the day before because I was just like thinking about maybe I should go camping. 
So I'm about two and a half hours away from Arches National Park, which is my destination. I'm so excited. This is one that has been on my wish list for a while now, so I'm excited to go see and explore. And today was a lot of driving, but I was able to stop at a few places, get the sights. Zion is just beautiful, and so I would love to do this type of trip with Dave. I would love to do it for like months at a time, just so we can like really take it in and appreciate it. This is just like a quick little like hop, skip, and a jump. So I'm gonna continue with my dinner. I got like this little like kit thing, so the rice should be done. I'm just assembling it. So I'll show you what I'm making. So it may not look really pretty, but it's just like a Mexican Spanish style dish. It has some chicken that's seasoned. We have some Spanish rice, cheese, little tortillas, and sour cream. And I think I would love it if it had like something green on it, you know, like some lettuce, but I'm just excited to have a real meal. I also brought in some Capri Sun, so things are looking up. Good morning. It is day three. I feel like it's been way longer, but it's only day three. So I'm going to Arches National Park today, which I'm so excited for. And then I did actually book the next two nights for camping because I was just making me a little nerve wracking. It was a little nerve wracking not having a destination to go to. And I definitely have seen that a lot of the campgrounds are doing just like RVs or they're just full because everyone's discovering their love for camping since COVID and everything. So. So tonight I'm going to Colorado. I originally wanted to stay in Arches, but it was completely full. So I am going to Colorado, which is like an hour and a half from the park. So that way it's still like drivable distance and I'll have a place to stay. And I'm checking Colorado off my list. And then tomorrow I'm gonna to start heading back home. I'm gonna stop at a couple of national parks along the way, but I'll be sleeping at Zion tomorrow. Um, I could have gone the other road, going down to Arizona, going to Grand Canyon and all that such, but it's a lot longer of a drive, and so I thought just heading back the way I came is fine by me because I did miss a couple of national parks that I wanted to go to, so I'm just doing everything. So two things that I was thinking about while I was driving is one, oftentimes when I go on these type of trips, my friends and family are like, how can you do that much driving? And for me, the drive is like, part of the fun. I love driving. I love going up these crazy windy roads that I get to go on. And the scenery is just gorgeous. Like I spent hours just like looking out the window at beautiful scenery. So for me, I love it. Um, but the second thing is, I think I broke my Spotify account. <laughs> I listen to all types of music. So far on this trip, I've listened to show tunes, Disney. I was just listening to John Denver. I was listening to Disturbed earlier, Adele some oldies, like I really do listen to like every single type of music. Spotify account where it's like giving you suggestions, it's like I don't I don't know what to give you anymore. So <laughs> um, I'm listening to John Denver today because I'm going to Colorado, which is fitting, right? Um, but I'm just gonna sit here, eat my breakfast real quick, and then hit the room. So I just stopped off at a viewing spot and it is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, let me show you. Arches. I just went into the visitor center to use the restroom. The actual museum parts closed right now, but they had a gift shop. And inside, they had a whole section for puzzles. So see, this video is kind of puzzle related. And I did purchase one. It is this one here, which is National Parks, which is very appropriate for this trip since I'm going to so many. And I feel like this is a good like bucket list item. 
because I can check them off as I go and hopefully someday I'll be able to hit them all. Already I feel like I have a good start, but um, yeah, that is my find in the gift shop. I also got lip balm with SPF because it's officially 100 degrees out and I always burn my lips and I forgot mine. Actually, I can't, I don't know where it is. So, um, but we are gonna go into the park. I have the app in my phone and I have the map and we'll see what happens today. say the app with the tour I did pay for the full tour which is $5.99 but it's so worth it I'm learning so much and you just go and then when it comes to a spot where there's information it just like starts playing and it's really educational I feel like I'm getting like the full experience of the park so it'll tell you like which places to turn off at how long the hike will be and I just really enjoy it anyways I am now at Delicate Arch, which is the only, the one that's freestanding. I think it's like a five minute walk to see it. And so far, I'm loving this place. I really want to come back with Dave, do a few more of the hikes. The one I just did was only about a mile long, but I just love how there were so many people at that first arch. And then I just took the different path where nobody was at and I got my own private viewing and it was awesome. So I need to drink some water and then I'm going to go for my little hike. It's hot. <laughs> According to my car, it's 109 out. So I'm really sweaty. I feel like I got my money's worth out of Arches. I'm gonna head towards Colorado and find my campsite. So I'm at my spot and it is gorgeous and I'm on top of like this huge mesa. It's at Col Colorado National Monument. Never heard of it before but so gorgeous. I'm the only one in this area currently and so I'm going to sit down, have my dinner and do a little micro puzzle. This one only takes me like 25 minutes so just quick and easy while I enjoy the scenery and just peace and quiet. I'll show you my view.
So I just got to Bryce Canyon National Park. So it's been a few hours later. I've been on the road all morning and I got here right when it started raining. It just stopped. So let's see what the view is. I've, I have been here before. It's probably one of my favorite national parks and I'll get to show you. I didn't film much yesterday and I'm on my way back today. I know that there's a huge accident near my house, so they closed the highway. <laughs> um, I've already been driving quite a few hours. It's going to be probably about four hours at least to get back. So I'm gonna sign off here. I hope you enjoyed at least looking at the scenery and coming with me along this very spontaneous trip. I had a lot of fun. I'm excited to go home and just snuggled the kitties. So thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.